Hey, what's going on guys? I know quite a few people have been asking on the C Star group is what's the best way to charge and power uh, the C Star as it's being used? A lot of times you want to capture the night sky for a long period of time. The built-in battery does great. However, if you're running a dew heater and you're trying to stay up for like all the way through the morning time, trying to capture night sky, um, the battery will not last the whole night. So um, you need a way to charge it. I've tried different power banks and not all power banks are created equally. I've tried power banks that has the fast charging, which is like the 12 volts at one amps. Um, that goes from like five volts, three amps, even the nine volt at two amps and the 12 volts at one amp. Um, that does charge the C-Star when it's off, but when the C-Star is on, it doesn't actually charge it. And you know, it it's kind of sucks because you're trying to stay up all night, but it just slowly drains even with some of those power banks. But what I have found is that um, there are some power banks that will charge this. So as long as you have something that can put out 12 volts at 2 amps, 3 amps, 4 amps, 5 amps, whatever, um, something that is like at least 20 watts or more, um, that will charge the C-Star as it's being operated. So to give you guys an idea, I got a Symic power source adapter. You can find this on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. I think it's like 35 bucks, and it works with the RealV batteries, which I'm pretty sure... A lot of people have because these are like one of those uh, homeowner power tool brand at the local Home Depot. I'm gonna go ahead and power on the C Star. Well, actually, I should have left it off. Um, let me go ahead and power this off real quick to show you guys how much power it's um, pulling. So, so it's off. All right, this is the screen right now. I'm gonna plug it into the lower port here. So to charge this telescope, um, it puts out or it requires about 13 watts of charging power to charge. You can see I'm charging at 12 volts at one amp or 12.2 volts at 1.1 amps. And it's showing that it's, you know, 13.2 watts. That's what it takes to charge it when the C star is off. But when I power on the C star, see, press and hold powering on you're gonna see the power that it requires will increase so with the C star on not being used at all just powering on it's pulling about 14.4 or 15 watts now give it a little bit more as the focus starts to kind of adjust itself you can see the power goes up to about almost 17 watts 16.6 and it drops down after the motor stop so now i'm going to go ahead and connect the app and just show you guys exactly what it takes um to power this so uh, hopefully i can keep the video as short as possible because i know a lot of people don't want to watch a boring long video but you know just want to point out and show you guys what it takes to uh, power the c star as it's being used there's a lot of debate on the groups too so right now you can see the C star or my C star is at 30% battery and it's charging. If I go into here and I turn on the dew heater, right? So right now the telescope is using about 15.3 watts. When I turn on the anti-dew heater, it's about 16 watts now. Right? And that's not being used at all. You know, I'm not imaging the night sky so the camera is not being used if i go into let's say scenery mode and then i kind of manually tilt the camera or tilt the uh, c star or tilt the scope on the tilt axis this new firmware just makes things load up super slow so here we go if i go here and i tilt up you can see the power on the c star it's going up to about 17.8 watts, so about 18 watts. Um, I would say as this thing is being operated, because you know when you're tracking the night sky, you're gonna have both um, the alt and the asthma uh, axis, you know, moving itself to track the night sky, and that's using both motors, and that's gonna put in more load. So as long as your power supply or power bank can handle 20 watts. Or more that's gonna be what you need to power and charge if you use anything that is less or like a 15 watt 
you know, or even an 18 watt, you're at the very limit. And those little power banks will actually, I would say they'll kind of run really hot. Um, this one runs super cool because, you know, it's like an overkill power bank for just powering this, but I can charge my cell phone. I can charge my laptop. I can charge my um, tablet and charge the C star at the same time. So it's a very super, or this is actually a super powerful, um, you know, power source slash power bank adapter with the Ryobi batteries. You can see here right now, just sitting still. If I exit out and say I go into maybe stargazing, right? And then I turn on one of the filters. So right now it's at 16.8, 16.9. I turn on the filter, you can see it spiked up to about 17 watts just um, enabling the filter. Cause I think it's like some kind of uh, electromagnet inside that sends out a pulse and that just kind of slides the filter over the camera sensor. I turn this off. The power does drop down slightly. So you can see with the filter, double check, make sure my dew heater is on. And then let's say I go back to stargazing and I just tilt. You can see it's going up to almost 18 watts. So it is drawing quite a bit of power. But yeah, this 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 Simic power source adapter is awesome. And you can see right now, I think earlier we started, we're at 30%. Now I'm at 33%, so it's actually charging really quick. So if you guys are looking for something to power um, your C-Star, you know, when you're using it to image the night sky, especially for long periods of time, um, I would highly recommend this if you guys have Ryobi batteries. If you don't, um, many of the newer Anchor power banks will work too. Uh, a lot of those are like 20 watts. 40 and 65 watts those will actually work really good um i just so happen to have this guy for my laptop and it it's powerful it charges and i can last all night on this four amp hour battery so there you go and we have two c stars you have two usb c ports too so very cool hope you guys like this video found it useful um yeah i'll see you guys later